Okay, this is a modified baseball game slash t-ball game that I use with my uh, third, fourth, and fifth graders during a batting skills unit. Um, this is the way I set up the gym. Um, at my school, we don't have the luxury of having grass or a field for that matter. So in order to practice the batting skills and things like this, this is a game that come up with on how to set up my gym uh, so we can at least uh, practice batting skills as well as certain positions within either t-ball or baseball. We're going to take these two stars here as our two players. The way the gym is set up is this and this is how I do it. Each one of these circles here are poly spots that represent different positions um for within the field so my gym hat is a split gym so back here is a curtain that splits the gym into two and so the curtain is all the way across here and i call that the fence that's the home run fence so if the kids hit their ball um, above a certain line on that that curtain then it's a home run so the way it is is this is the t-ball or the T, I should say, for T-ball. Okay, this is the T. This is the T. This position here represented by this circle is the catcher. This would be the pitcher. This is the infielder. This is the outfielder. Now the students rotate in this direction. So, for instance, if this person was here, they would rotate to this direction. Then this person rotates to this direction. Okay, and then if you were in the catcher's position, they become the next outfielder. So they would rotate all the way back up to this position right here. And then that's how it rotates. Okay, get those out of there. So, anyway, so for instance, let's say this person, this a player, they're up to T, up to bat, and this person is in the pitching position. So depending on your skill level, uh, you can have either the pitcher here, the pitcher here either toss the ball to the batter underhand with like a soft ball. I usually use like a, a um, yarn ball, things like that since we're in the gym, something that's easy for the kids to catch. Maybe third grade you use like a... Um, a uh, some sort of gator ball, something like that, that the kids can actually practice swinging the bat, keeping their eye on the ball, and then it's easier for the kids to field and or catch. So that's up to you. So this person would, let's put a ball in there. So let's say this, we're going to make this a little smaller here. Let's say that this blue circle here represents the ball. So if this person pitches it, okay, and then the batter here, and then the batter hits the ball, okay, let's say the ball travels all the way back against the fence, okay, then this fielder would have to go get it, okay, and then they field it, and then it would, they would throw the ball all the way back either to the infielder okay and then the infielder could um, then throw it back to the uh, pitcher and things like that and the game just keeps rotating okay and I try not to keep a score with this some other variations of that is with your fifth graders if let's say that this person hit the ball they can either run all the way back try to touch the curtain and make it all the way back to where they batted before the fielders either touch them with the ball like if you use a gator ball i don't have the kids throw the ball at them they must have the ball in their hand and touch the student with the ball in their hand in order to get that person out and if uh, uh once a per regardless if they get out or not student has their opportunity to bat okay then they would rotate to the catcher position then the next pitcher then the pitcher becomes the next batter 
And if this star was this a player was at the infielder position, they become the next pitcher. And that's this game. Um, I find it with not having a field and practicing batting skills for my third and fourth and fifth graders works really good. Um, and more information on this will be on the blog and on my YouTube channel.